Hey, future coders, welcome to our channel. Today we will see Spring Framework. What is Spring Framework? Spring is a lightweight framework. Spring is considered lightweight because it doesn't impose a lot of overhead on your application. It provides essential features without being intrusive, allowing developers to use what they need. Framework of Frameworks Spring supports various other frameworks like Struts, Hibernate, Tapestry, EJB, JSF, etc. It acts as an umbrella framework that integrates and provides support for different technologies, making it a versatile solution. Framework in a broader sense. In a broad sense, a framework is a structured solution to address various technical problems. Spring provides a structured and organized approach to develop enterprise-level Java applications offering solutions to common challenges. Spring Modules Spring is modular, and it consists of various modules that address different concerns in application development. Key modules include IOC, Inversion of Control, AOP, Aspect-Oriented Programming, DAO, Data Access Object, Context, ORM, Object Relational Mapping, Web MVC, Model View Controller, and more. IOC and Dependency Injection Inversion of Control, IOC, is a design principle where control is handed over to an external framework, Spring, to manage and control the flow of the application. Dependency Injection, DI, is a specific implementation of IOC, where dependencies, objects, or services are injected into a class rather than the class creating its own dependencies. Spring IOC Container manages objects, beans, and uses DI to inject dependencies, promoting loose coupling and modular design. Inversion of control, via IOC, and dependency injection, these are the design patterns that are used to remove dependency from the programming code. They make the code easier to test and maintain. Let's understand this with the following code. In such case, there is dependency between the employee and address, tight coupling. In the inversion of control scenario, we do this something like this. Thus, IOC makes the code loosely coupled. In such case, there is no need to modify the code if our logic is moved to new environment. Here's how it promotes loose coupling. Dependency injection. The address dependency is injected into the employee class through its constructor. This means that the employee class is not responsible for creating or managing its own address object. Decoupling of concerns. It doesn't create an instance of address directly, but relies on an instance being provided during construction. Flexibility and reusability. Since the address dependency is injected, you can easily change or substitute different implementations of the address class without modifying the employee class. This promotes flexibility and reusability, as the employee class becomes agnostic to the details of the address implementation. Testability. During unit testing, you can easily mock or substitute the address dependency, allowing for isolated testing of the employee class. Ease of maintenance. If there are changes to the address class or its instantiation logic, you only need to modify the code where the address is instantiated, typically in the application configuration or a dependency injection container. In summary, loose coupling is achieved by externalizing the creation and management of dependencies, allowing for more flexible, maintainable, and testable code. The employee class, by accepting address through its constructor, follows the principle of dependency injection, contributing to the loose coupling between components. In Spring Framework, IOC Container is responsible to inject the dependency. We provide metadata to the IOC container either by XML file or annotation. Advantage of dependency injection makes the code loosely coupled so easy to maintain, makes the code easy to test. Advantages of Spring Framework There are many advantages of Spring Framework. They are as follows. 1. Predefined templates. Spring Framework provides templates for JDBC, Hibernate, JPA, etc. technologies. So there is no need to write too much code. It hides the basic steps of these technologies. Let's take the example of JDBC template. You don't need to write the code for exception handling, creating connection, creating statement, committing transaction, 
closing connection, etc. You need to write the code of executing query only. Thus, it save a lot of JDBC code. Do loose coupling. The Spring applications are loosely coupled because of dependency injection. 3. Easy to test. The dependency injection makes easier to test the application. The EJB or Struts application requires server to run the application, but Spring Framework doesn't require server. 4. Lightweight. Spring Framework is lightweight because of its Pyojo implementation. The Spring Framework doesn't force the programmer to inherit any class or implement any interface. That is why it is said non-invasive. 5. Fast development. The dependency injection feature of Spring Framework and its support to various frameworks makes the easy development of Java EE application. 6. Powerful abstraction. It provides powerful abstraction to Java EE specifications such as JMS, JDBC, JPA, and JTA. 7. Declarative support. It provides declarative support for caching, validation, transactions, and formatting.